a bit painful that the kind of music we grew up with here, the kind of music we are growing up with here, it's not this kind of music. This music speaks to your soul. Yeah. You see, she was speaking and everybody was listening with rapt attention. True. You know? So I was wondering if some of our famous lyrics could be laid side by side with this kind of music. I, I really do. Like Rihanna, that is always naked. 
we plant cassava. <laughs> what do you want to hear? We plant cassava. And then, why I like the typical black girl is because the black girls are bold. Nigerian girls especially, they're bold. You try to date the white girl, first date, second date, if you're being too forceful, she's, she's taking steps back. And she tells you straight, you just surprise her when I bought you a brand new car. You're just meeting her for the second time and you're buying her a car. And you say, I bought this for you. She'll be like, I'm afraid we're moving too fast. Can we, can we stop? Can we slow down? White girl, she doesn't want anything that you used to hold her down. Our girls. <laughs> hey baby, I bought this car for you. Say, ah. She will tell her friends, he's so generous. Here. This is an office. <laughs> A open office, yeah. She's not going to date you. The typical black girl, especially the typical Nigerian black girl, is bold and nothing will happen to her. She will lead you on to when you get to like the promised land and then she comes up with excuses that drive you crazy. See, a girl tell you, uh, let's take it slow, we're moving too fast. I'm like, can you please tell me which step we jumped? <laughs> I'm moving too fast. See, let's take it one step at a time. Spend time and all. Then some girls self fear. They will tell you, ah, the truth is that any man I date will not succeed in life. <laughs> and by you, I've succeeded already, so let's go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. And then, so there, there was this particular one, she was like, the truth is that if I have anything to do with you, I will hate you, I will not pick your call again. Like, okay. <laughs> That's fine by me. You know? But let it not be like I'm putting our girls on blast, Nigerian girls. Some of the best type of women you will find in the world, Nigerian girls. You don't want to go up now. Our girls are copying some things that are not so Nigerian anyway. And I don't like the fact that we're copying those things. We should take it easy, okay? The average black white man and his wife are having issues and she goes, you know what, sleep on the couch. And she will give you a pillow and you will go to the bar and sleep. I didn't even know what the couch was. When my wife started running and she says, but you know what, sleep on the couch. I said, where did that? The couch, the couch. I wasn't sure what she was asking, so I was asking, is the bed bad? What is it bad? That's not African. I mean, we respect our women, we love our women, but they are setting boundaries, yo. You know, that make us look chauvinistic. We're not chauvinistic, it's just the way we know how to roll. You know? And then, one day my wife wakes up, because she's watching so many reality TV shows, and she says, you know what? You don't want to tell me about this text message on your phone? Leave the house. Don't come back. Leave the house. So which house? <laughs> this house. Leave this house. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> are you being like KG or something? Like, I don't understand. You know? Because you're watching too much of reality TV. Women are powerful. One thing that really annoyed me recently is the fact that the gender 